Hello boys and girls. Today I want to show you a video of me playing sock ball. It's a game I used to play when I was little. You can call it sock basketball, sock ball, whatever you really want to call it. Uh, the whole object of this game is to try to work on your overhand throw. I try to throw it more than I do shoot it like a basketball. But what I'm talking about when I say it is a sock. I'm actually going to curl my sock up into a little ball to be able to use. I like to do it with a bunch of my socks so that I have more than one to shoot at a time. So what you need is a couple of socks. And I'll show you how to make one into a ball. First, you just need to take off your sock. Maybe use a clean sock. Make sure it doesn't smell. I got my sock right here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the top. This is where my foot will go in, right in here. Leave that part in your left hand, maybe. And now all I do with the rest of the sock, where my toes go, is I roll it up into a ball. When I roll it all the way to the top, I take the top of my sock and I fold it over the rest of the sock. So that it makes a nice little ball. If you do this with maybe five or six socks, however many you wanna to have to be able to shoot for this game, that's up to you. I was gonna do it with about maybe 10 socks. The whole objective of this game is to try to throw your socks into a basket. Maybe you want to use a toy chest. Maybe you want to use a clothes basket or a clean little garbage can. Um, that's up to you. The bigger it is, the easier it's going to be. So if you really want to challenge yourself, maybe try to use a small bathroom garbage can. If you want to make it easy, like I wanted it to be easy today, you can use a big clothes basket. So that's up to you. But I'm going to show you my setup. I stand about 10 feet away from the basket and I'll show you a couple shots. Uh, when I'm doing this, I'm still trying to throw overhand. So that means I'm stepping with my opposite foot. So for me, I throw with my right hand, so I should be stepping with my left foot. It should be the opposite. I'm gonna point towards my target, I'm gonna step and I'm gonna throw it. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I got my sock balls ready. I'm ready to shoot. If you can see all the way down there, I'm about 10 or 12 feet away. You can move a little closer if you want. I have my clothes basket. I said I wanted to use a big basket. So I'll show you what it looks like afterwards when we count how many I make. But again, a bigger basket is going to be easier. You're gonna have more success getting them in. So when I'm doing this, remember, I'm throwing with my right, so you should know that I'm gonna be stepping with my left foot. Ready? I'm gonna have eight drives. Let's see how I do. I point, I step, and I throw. So I made the first one. Make sure you're stepping on each throw. You wanna be consistent when you're learning this skill. So I made my first two. Got that one also. It's three in a row. I'm getting lucky because it's a big basket. I think I made them all. So I'll show you. Looks like I made two, five. I made all eight. That's pretty good, I'm pretty happy with that. But again, I use a big basket to try and make it easier for myself. Uh, I wanna challenge you guys to use a smaller basket maybe to try and make it a lot harder. If you have a little garbage can or a small toy box, something like that that you wanna to use to try to throw your sock balls in, good luck, I hope you have fun with it. Maybe play against your someone in your family, your mom, your brother, your sister, maybe dad will play with you. Ask them to see if they want to throw sock balls in, play some sock basketball. All right, have fun, guys.